Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, in the last episode, I had just completed the logistics of the oil processing plant, and we powered it all on. Now, of course, there was a little bit of hitching and sputtering at the end of the episode, but after just leaving it running for a little while while I was doing some errands, it sort of all just resolved itself. It seems like fluid dynamics maybe don't really work when it's one-to-one -one with the rate that you're planning for. It seems like you want to produce just a little bit extra, and that way the pipes keep flowing and everything's fine. I kind of put it down to air bubbles in the pipes, giving us a little bit of a hitch every now and then. Either way, we're getting a boost of about 1200 megawatts of power, we're producing plastic and rubber, and we're sending off the packaged fuel. Today, we're going to be focusing on getting a few of the extra unlocks done. Namely, I want to have a look into turbo fuel and maybe unlock the milestone for trains and even build some, just to have a look at how they all operate. And that way, I can kind of plan for the future for the next few episodes. So as you can see, in between episodes, I cleverly... Um, outlined this route for the truck to kind of come in here, get its packaged fuel, and then send it back out to deliver it to the other truck stations. I basically built a temporary station, kind of about out here, roughly just west of the iron refinery. This is where the manufacturer is, and then down here, I really should have this. Let's just do it right now. We can say that this is the screw factory. All right, so the screw factory is there. We can kind of just remember that. The manufacturer is here that's just making our computer or our modular fr heavy modular frames. They're making a bunch in between. I also made a quick dash down here to go deliver, like, I don't know, thousands of plastic that had just been stored up here. And that's now making circuit boards in the background and stuff for us, so that's good. So just a little bit of the tedious stuff is done in between. But either way, the good news is this truck coming back and forth means that fuel, for the trucks at least, is now automated. We don't ever have to worry about that again. As long as they go to this fuel station on their routes, they will pick up fuel and keep going. So that's all great. So before we get into the episode proper, I thought it'd be good just to have a little quick tour of the factory. Very quickly, obviously we did spend a very long time in here before, but now that it's basically done, um, I thought it'd be nice to have a la one last walk around and check it out. Of course, we'll be up here every now and then from time to time, and we'll be building even more up here once we want to get and uh, harvest or exploit the other crude oil deposits. So here we have the sort of docking bay, if you will. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> we have the sort of docking bay, the garage, if you will. Just the one truck is gonna be coming in here getting packaged fuel. The other stuff I'm gonna have to be moving out of here manually, the worst word in satisfactory, um, but it is temporary. The other, my favorite word for satisfactory is temporary. It's temporary, it's for now. So anyway, we're going to bring in the truck, just get packaged fuel and take it away. So the stuff that we're storing up there is going to be rubber and plastic. We're only making about 50 per minute of both, just around that number. So it's not going to fill up like super, super fast. I, I have time to kind of get in there and deliver it to where I need to. Obviously, in the future, what I would like is something like a train to come by and will really exploit another crude oil deposit and focus it specifically on like a plastic factory. So I didn't want to set up a route or extra kind of truck depots just for that. It just seemed like a lot of work for very little gain that's going to end up changing in not too long. Whereas this factory is sort of kind of can be left on its own now for quite a long time, I think. Um, just producing its power, doing its thing on the one oil deposit that it's uh, currently on. So let's have a little walk in. I'll hide the UI. So this is the regular entrance, well it's really the only entrance actually thinking about it. We now have the hallway that is lit with floodlights. I decided to angle them down at a 90 degree angle just facing straight down. So they're not totally centered because they are of course attached to the wall. So they just come off at a little bit of a slight angle to the side and then straight down. And that's kind of like brightening up our entire hallway. So that's just controlled by that light switch there. But I'm just going to leave it on, you know, don't ever really need to change it I don't think. So inside the sorting and packaging room, this is the room that we were building in the last episode. All the logistics and stuff is the exact same, I didn't change anything around, but I did just put in the ceiling lights, the floodlights wrapping around, and a little bit of trim to the windows. I put a black painted beam on top of the windows here, and then we just have our regular metal beam going around the whole place. So it doesn't look the best with the wires being exposed, but what can you do? Absolutely nothing is what you can do. We're making 24 package fuel per minute at the moment. I think I might reduce that down to about 18. Like I said, there's a tiny bit of sputtering still going on at the fuel generators, which we can take a look in a moment. Otherwise, inside of the storage containers themselves, we just have rubber in this one and plastic in this one. No polymer resin has made its way in yet, and we have a blank one just in case we ever need to fill it with something. We then have our packager dealing with package fuel coming out, like I said, 24 per minute, just heading into the 
uh, truck station, which is being picked up by our truck at the moment, and our fluid buffer holding, I don't know, probably a little bit of, yeah, there we go. Fuel is in there at a pretty consistent rate. All right, out to the main facility hall. We then have oil extraction. So this room has actually changed just a little bit since the last episode. I sh shortened it. Originally, this room was much bigger on my blueprints because there's a second oil deposit just somewhere over there. And the original idea was to bring another pipeline in here, merge the two, and then I guess use the two, you know, for the facility. But I decided, now I'll just overclock one, and then we can save our three other deposits for, you know, using them in future. So this room is sort of built very quickly. It's just sort of, you know, got some lights in it and stuff, but it's probably the least impressive room out of them all. And then we just have, like, access to the valve there if I ever want to mess with it. So back out to the main facility. In this room, we have our refinements. Now, I spent a long time in the last episode in this one. Don't want to spend too much longer in it, but we've got a lovely 300 flow rate on that valve. Love to see it. Industrial fluid buffers are doing their thing. And then our refiners are also all doing their thing, producing, obviously, rubber, plastic, and fuel at the end. So we've had a good look at this room before. Nothing has changed in here. So we can just have a very quick look around. This is my favorite room. I think it's just the, the best balanced room out of them all. And I like the color schemes and stuff I've gone for. Black and yellow. And I even like the water with the blue and orange. So it's pretty straightforward. Of course, now the polymer resin is getting a little bit backed up. I noticed that the heavy oil residue, for some reason, was also kind of being backed up, as was the fuel. It's all sort of just kind of worked itself out over time. Maybe it was reloading the game has done it. I'm not too sure, but everything seems to be running quite smoothly now. Um, but if this polymer resin gets any more backed up, we should see it come down this way. Um, I did check the smart splitter. It seems to be working fine, so polymer resin can make its way out if it needs to. Uh, other than that, we just have the sushi belt down below, taking out the rubber and plastic at the moment back into the room that we were just in. And then the last room to check would be at the very end of the hall on the left, and it's going to be the fuel generators and the battery room. And of course, this is the first room we built. Still love it. The needle falls below where it should every now and then, which is why we get the odd little bit of sputtering. But if we have a look really quickly at the power network... Oh, it's actually more than I'd seen before. I had a very long stretch before this where nothing had ever run out. Um... I think before I leave, just one thing I'm going to do here at the end, I do think capping this to maybe 20 per minute will sort of solve this issue, or it might. So I'll just cap that to 20 per minute, and then we'll make our way out. So that's pretty much the factory, you know, that's it. That is the place. Uh, I'm super happy with it, I think it's great. <laughs> it's like my favorite one I've done. I even prefer it to the motor factory. The motor factory looks better from the outside, but this one I think looks much better on the inside. Um, so the last thing then would be, yep, just limit this valve to, say, 20. Limit this to be 20. And then very quickly, I'll just limit this to 20 as well. I don't need to, but might as well. Might as well. Cool. All right, so that's going to be it. So let's get on with it. I Get on with it. I've kind of found where a hard drive is that I want to go exploit. I've brought my Explorer vehicle up here. Oh, and I should just mention, of course, I've just tucked all the power underneath the floors, uh, and it just comes in right there. So that's basically, you know, how this place gets power. So in the top right of the screen, we have the milestone for the monorail train technology. I actually have everything I need for that. And luckily, in the back of this, I already had um, compacted coal, which I've taken into my inventory now. There. Yeah, there's 113. So because of that, that's what we need to make uh, turbo fuel. And we need a hard drive, so we're going to drive out. I found a hard drive. I don't know if it's just been added. Some people commented before that they've added, like, extra hard drives around the map in some of the previous updates, like the, the last couple of updates with the experimental. Um, so I'm not sure if it's a brand new one or not, but there is one that I found that I was when I was driving by making the truck route um, a couple episodes ago that we're going to go gra grab pretty quickly. And once that's done, I'll be able to kind of work out. I've had a look at some, like, um, stuff about on the wiki about turbo fuel. It's just vastly more efficient than regular fuel. It lasts way longer. I feel like it would be easier to feed machines with turbo fuel. Um, the only issue is we just have to deliver, you know, a lot of sulfur. Uh, not sulfur, sorry. We have to deliver the compacted coal. And our sulfur deposit and refinery is really far away. So... I'm thinking we get a train and do it, or we have a very long truck journey that does it, I guess. 
But I have to kind of decide where all of that's going to go. Now, I'm a bit confused. Where I saw this was out by... Out by a waterfall. Have I gone too far? Uh, no, I don't think so. I should have marked it on the map, actually, but I didn't. There it is. Right, so we're just going to run over to that, grab it. I actually don't know what it needs. Hopefully it doesn't need power. Cuz I don't think I have what I need uh, for a, I don't think I have what I need for a biomass burner. Uh, no need to do that. Let's just run out. A planet in the sky today. I also noticed there's like all this territory over there. I thought that was just out of bounds. But I was like driving around and actually drove pretty close to it. And I was like, I should probably wait. Like there might be something. Over I didn't actually think to scan. Could there be oil all the way out there? Probably not. I don't know if there's anything out there, but there, there must be something. So what do we got? Oh, it just needs modular frames. We have 100 on us. That's fine. Sweet. All right, so we've tagged crude oil. Obviously, we can see the other deposits up here. And then there's this one that doesn't actually trigger, but it is there. We know it's there. So nothing else. What about maybe just really quickly we'll do iron ore. Yeah, don't see. I don't know. Maybe there's nothing out there. Uh, just do maybe. I don't know if I can do a ping one after the other. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think so. Nothing else is pinging right now, so I'm guessing not. Anyway, I can take a look myself later or or whatever. Um, maybe just do a proper scan rather than waste your time. All right, let's just head back. We have our hard drive, so we just need to get to the mum, and then basically look for turbo fuel. Put in the. I assume it needs the compacted coal, right? And then we can see exactly what it needs to be made. And then we should be up there and we can get our milestone for trains. And I'd like to kind of have a play around with trains. Just see how it all works, basically. I've never seen how big they are or anything. I've never even seen them at all. Like, just straight... I mean, I think I've you know obviously seen the trailer and stuff, but I've never actually seen anyone play with them or use them. <laughs> so it's going to be totally new to me. But I think something I've learned in that last build, you know, I'm always learning with each build, that we just need to build way bigger. It, I should have had that building like twice as big as it was. So I'm going to be doing that going forward. And obviously with trains, I think they take up a lot. I'm expecting them to take up a lot. All right, here we are, home sweet home. When I was thinking of this episode and like, what should I do? What should we focus on? I was like, God, there's so many things to do. So many things. Like, I kind of want to build an all-new copper factory because that one is, like, super outdated and we need copper plates and stuff for... Copper plating and sheeting, I think, is for the circuit boards and stuff. And I'm like, oh, yeah, the whole thing needs to change. It's all just one deposit, but it's only a Mark I miner, you know? So this... And then this thing needs to just be destroyed. <laughs> so there's so much to redo and go back over. But there's still other things we can unlock in the meantime. So let's go sulfur. Turbo fuel, here we are. And packaged turbo fuel, of course. Only takes three seconds. I was hoping I could, um, excuse me, look at it. Can I do that? There we go. So it takes in six fuel and four compacted coal in a refinery and then produces five out. But from what I understand, this fuel, turbo fuel, lasts like, I don't know, three or four times as long as one of those. So you're getting one less out, but it lasts way, way more. I, I don't know the exact rate. Obviously, when we build one, we can check it out. Uh, and then, of course, package fuel, straightforward. We could just package up in the packager, uh, turbo fuel, turn it into package fuel, give it to the trucks if we wanted to. Um, don't know if we need to do that, really, but I guess everything should be probably be turbo fuel going forward if we can manage it. So for a refresher... Our sulfur factory is out here on the southeast. 
of the map. Sulfur refinery is all the way down there. Um, so this makes compacted coal. Quite a lot of it, actually, and it just goes nowhere. Throw it into an awesome sink. So we need to get the compacted coal and bring it all the way up here and merge it with the oil up there. Or find other oil deposits. Again, I'll just search another crude oil deposit and have a look. In the meantime, let's just toggle that one off. Done. Hard drive is got. So advance the milestone. I think I've got everything on me right now, do I? Getting low on modular frames, actually. I'll have to have a look. I think I've got some in the storage bin over the other way. Yeah, so we just need another 50 modular frames. Let me just check here. So there's crude oil all the way out here. Impure. It would be fun to go exploring, actually. Maybe we should do that. And then maybe sulfur would only have to... I mean, it's almost an equal distance away from the sulfur. Where are, where are other sulfur mines? Whoops. If there's more sulfur closer to this band of oil out here, maybe then I could do something with that. There's sulfur right there. Obviously the one next to here. Is that it? I guess that might be it for what we can scan. That's why I want to get radar technology so we can do better scans. Alright, um, yeah, so I think I've got heavy modular frames just listed over here. This is the temporary truck station I built, by the way. As you can see, it's colored our McDonald's fuel color. Not sponsored. Kind of wish I was in some ways. Wish I was big enough to be sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this thing is actually going to fill up with fuel. No, sorry. Oh, I've done it actually a bit wrong. This is the one that fills up with fuel. Yes. This is where fuel gets dropped off, and then this is where all of our trucks refuel, if that makes sense. Okay, um, so what else? Oh yeah, I'm here to pick up the heavy modular frames. I think I've got some in here. Yeah, oh, I've got loads. Alright, sweet. This isn't making anything else though, no? No, we're out. I'm out of circuit boards. Oh well. I'm not going to be able to make any more at the moment for a while. I want to make crystal oscillators so that we can get the radar technology. Alrighty, let's advance this milestone. This is completing, by the way, tier 6. We'll be moving on to phase 3 then. Never gone this far. This is all new territory for me. Monorail train technology. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long range transportation has been made available. In addition to built in power conduction, rails based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Oh, interesting. Freight car. Freight car can be built on railways and attached to an electric locomotive or other freight car. Now, I just realized. It says requires between 25 and 110 megawatts of power. Oh, I thought it took in fuel. That's like one of the reasons I was like building the, f like making packaged fuel and stuff. I thought it took fuel, like every other, you know, like the cars and the trucks. I had no idea. So it's electric, electric locomotive. I wonder, is there a, another variant? Cause it says electric, I mean, it could just, yeah. I guess not. Interesting. So then we have a train station. And that takes 50 megawatts of power just to have that. Wow. A freight platform. 50 megawatts of power as well for each of these. Jeez. <laughs> and then we've got empty platforms. An empty train platform for when you need to create some empty space. Okay. Oh my god. Pathing signals, block signals, railway. An empty platform with a catwalk. So this is what we have to build and attach things onto. Okay. It's not as big as I thought it would be, but it's pretty big. How many across is that? It's like... Uh, about four or five foundations. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. This will allow me to plan things out much better than going forward. We might dick around... <laughs> pardon the... Pardon my French. At the end of the um, episode. To s just get one built and see what it looks like and stuff. Alright. Whoops. Advance milestone. Done. Unlock turbo fuel. Oh, we've done that as well. Set up crystal oscillator. So this one is just a temporary thing. I want to build it up build it up here. Um, oh, actually, I also need to set up circuit boards. Now, circuit boards is an easy one to do. The assembler, we had it many episodes ago. I deleted it. We'll just put it back. Because like I said, in between episodes, I basically just ran ahead, 
gathered all the plastic and copper sheeting. That'll be coming out of these two. This is just full of plat, like almost full. It's everything that I had in store at the time. Yeah, so it's heading into here. Good. So this is just going to make circuit boards in the background for me. So four plastic, 15 copper sheets. Just attach that here. And to get it going, let's just throw in some overclocking. So it's at 15 megawatts of power. We're going to throw it up to 250%. And it's now at 65 megawatts of power. But that's what our power is for. Should be totally fine. Seems to be, yeah, just that little bit of hitching every now and then. We have, you know... It looks like we're not using that much. We're only using half of the power, and that's true, but that's because almost all my factories are backed up right now. Just woefully backed up. This is backed up because the manufacturer down here isn't receiving circuit boards, so they're not making anything. So the screws that are being delivered there are just full. So it's everything's just broken down. The, the motor factory is just backed up because I didn't send the motors anywhere, so they just, they just filled up a container and that's it. Um, this one and the Caterium and a few other factories constantly move because they do have um, awesome sinks. But even the steel factory I don't think is moving right now because it doesn't have anything falling off. So this is why I was saying there's like so much stuff to do. Alright, so crystal oscillators. That circuit board's done. I mean, we're just setting it up temporarily. I am going to build factories for these. I would need vastly more plastic to set up a proper factory. But I could set up a mini factory that just has literally one or two machines in it. Um, but yeah, let's just um, make a box for these to go into. There we go, fix it circuit boards, looking good. Okay, so setting up crystal oscillators. The reason I want to do that is because in here, in the quartz chain, at the bottom, we have radio signal scanning. It requires 100 oscillators and an object scanner, as well as 100 motors. The motors is no problem. Then we need 50 modular, heavy modular frames, 100 circuit boards, which actually have 150 already, and then 50 more oscillators. So we need 150 oscillators. Uh, to advance those kind of things. So let's see, what do oscillators take? It's like, um... Crystal, isn't it? Oh, is it made in a manufacturer? Oh, it must be. Do I have the room up here? <laughs> Not really, actually. Yeah, there we go. So a crystal oscillator. 36, 28, and 5. So it actually, that's interesting. It takes reinforced iron plates, 28 cable, and 36 quartz crystal. Alright, I might have to make one little journey uh, to go get the crystal. But the cable and reinforced plates is basically here. Um, so I might just... This box down here has full up... Is full up on reinforced plates. And I could just make another box with cable. It's, again, this is just going to be an ugly looking temporary thing. So we might just do something like this. About there. This is the one I'd need to pull from. I'm so sorry everybody, <laughs> but it's, it's spaghetti time. There we go. Not not as bad now, eh? Alright, so let's get another box. We'll put one just right up there, and then another one next to it. Now, I don't know if you need oscillators for anything else. We can have a look at what the space elevator is going to actually require. Basically, what we're going to be making is these two things, right? Modular engines. So it's motors, rubber, and... Um, smart plating. All have that in the background. That's all ready. That's good. Modular engines, no problem. That can be made very easily. Adaptive control units. So we need the automated wiring, which we also have running in the background. That's fine. But we don't have the other three. <laughs> At least not properly. I have machines that can do it, but it's not in a centralized location. So adaptive control units would be a bit more of a challenge. But modular engines we can do. I wonder how much we need in the space elevator, actually. And it doesn't really matter, but I'm guessing about 500 or something. Okay, so, crystal oscillators. Let's just hook this up to power. I'll make another little storage container just on this side. And just do that. So, super ugly, but we just need them for the radar technology more than anything. So that's getting full with reinforced plates. So, I'll just dump in my cable. 
Okay. And I need to make a truck. Am I able to do that right now? Yes, I am. Alright, we're going for a drive, guys. We're going to... Go pick up as much crystal as possible, just deliver it here in one big batch, and that should keep us going for quite a while. Alright, cool. So we set up circuit boards. So this needs fuel. Do we have any? Yep. Alright, cool. I hope people don't mind this more relaxed kind of episode. I just... There's been so much planning and building in that last one, I needed a break. <laughs> Well, there's, I think I might go exploring as well, and I think I'll mess with the trains. That could be fun, just to see how it all works. So I'm just going to make one drive out to... Basically, we have to go here. Now, can I go this way? I wouldn't dare go that way. I don't know what lies out here. So yeah, the idea will be just absolutely load this to the brim with... um. Quartz crystal. If you fill up the entire 48 slot, sorry. Um, and then just deliver it, jump, dump it in that box, then that's crystal oscillators in the background. Then when that's making our oscillators, I can um, check out how the trains are going to work. Should have everything I need to build some, so... We'll just power it on, it can fit on the network, and then I can just learn kind of roughly how it works. So just make a simple closed loop and just see what it does. And that should be it. This place needs to be redone as well. Everything needs to be redone. These are all Mark I miners, or almost all of them, making coal. Seems like such a long time ago I was making that, um, my coal rig, power rig thing. I never had any issues with the water in these. I guess I overproduced all the time, so that could be why. I guess I added too, like way too many pumps. People were like, oh, you don't need that many pumps. Alright, so it's basically just up here and around to the right, and that'll pick up all of our crystal, then we'll just head back. Um, and then dump it in the box. I think I'll make the journey, the rest of the journey on my own. Save you the time. Alrighty. I've arrived. So, just need to basically load ourselves up with as much of the crystal as we can and just pop it into here. That should keep us going for quite a while. I can do this, I think, two or three times. This thing is super full. All right, that should be it. Oh, I should have made it a bigger one. Damn. I'll just do this. It's super lazy to do that, but whatever. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's just see how much is left. Shouldn't be too much. Yeah. Could also, I guess, get more cable. Probably need to. Maybe I'll just do that real quickly as well in between. Or, um, and cut it in between. Yeah, because we've got tons of reinforced plates. All the crystals feeding in now. How many does it need for cable? It does need quite a bit. Yeah, I'm just going to run over to the copper factory, grab as much cable, because again, my inventory can just... I'll just load up this inventory once, and I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, and I am back. <laughs> so there we go. That should keep us going for quite a while, I think. Uh, hopefully that's 150 oscillators. I could have done the math, I guess, but... What we can also do is just boost it. Just get them made. That's going to be two and a half per minute. So, I don't know. What's the math on that? How many minutes is... Oh, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> Try to work it out. I'll say 30 minutes. What's that? It's about... 60... About 90 or something like that? I don't know. Alright, so that's crystal oscillators. Temporarily just set up in the background, so hopefully we can get radar technology going. So, now that we have some time to ourselves, while things are just running in the background, we can have a look at how trains work because I haven't seen them. Um, so what I was thinking of doing is maybe building on top of this area here. That looks like it could be fitting for a station. Um, and from previous tests, it seems like I need to have, let's see, foundations. Now, do I have concrete with me? I think I've got concrete in the back of the Explorer. 
which I have no idea where I've left that car now. Oh, it's right behind me. <laughs> Perfect. All right, cool. Let me just check this. Oh, yeah, it does. 5,000 concrete. Excellent. I noticed this. Look at this little piece of rocks jutting out of here on its own. Super annoying. Okay. So like I said, this is a temporary version of it, but at least building one once allows us to kind of see how it works and then lets me plan for the future. And give you my kind of genuine reaction to how it is, uh, how, how I feel about it once I first see it, rather than pre-planning everything. Alright, let's just get rid of those. So... Just go straight out that way. That looks so cool in the sky now, it looks really good. They did a great job. I noticed that when I look up at that rocky planet, I don't always see those little beeping machines on it. It seems like the planets actually rotate, even. Which is quite interesting. Alright, so, transport. We have the electric... So we have to build our station first. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm missing cable. God damn. Let me just run over, grab some cable. Is there any in this? No. Shouldn't have emptied it all. But there's still tons in this uh, in this place over here, so I'll just grab some. Ugh. All right, we have all the cable now. Auto save. Ugh. Wow, gave me a boost. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's try this again. So, train station. So it's gonna go, does it matter? Let's go this way. Oh, let's go this way, why not? Oh, nice, they have like names. Let's access it. So, scaved C. Um, I have no idea what I'll call it, but I'll come up with names later. We'll just leave it at that. Scaved. I don't know. I, I'm not Swedish. <laughs> Could you tell? I wonder, can they collide with trains, actually? Let me know if you know. So, this will be our starting spot, and we'll just go around in a bit of a loop. So, yeah, I'm just going to go literally around in a kind of a loop. As a sort of a test, a way to test this all out. So this is the central point here. Now, I know you don't necessarily need these, but let's just do that. So I'm just going to extend these foundations pretty much out to this tree, and then we'll just take another turn. I like the trains in Anno, hard right angles. Uh, I need to get the rest of the concrete now. Hey, a little lizard doggo. We haven't seen them in ages. Apparently they were broken for a while. There we go. Concrete for days. And what I'd like to do... Oh yeah, what might be cool is to test out fluid. Because it said there was like a fluid station. So I didn't see a fluid freight car though. Does this... Oh, it says has 1600 meters cubed. Or 30... Oh, it can take either fluid or inventory. Interesting. Regular inventory. I had no idea. I thought you needed like a specific... I'm so sure I've seen a, a train that looks like that though. Maybe it reskins itself. Let's just bring this out a bit further. Why not? So this is literally just to hold my line. My train line. And to let us put it down somewhere. I don't know if they've they've added. It'd be cool if they added like um, you know the way there's like pipeline support beams and stuff. It'd be cool if they added like rail supports. I know you can kind of just make some aesthetically, but that way you could just like plant them down and then join the rails that way. That might be nice. All right, cool. So that's gonna be our loop. Um, so I think what I need to do then is grab the railway. I might even run out of steel, but let's see. I'm gonna bring it pretty much in a straight line all the way down to this edge. So. Let's just stop here. Now, if I recall correctly, this needs to come to... I think you can kind of make a right angle. 
if we stop it right here. And then this will kind of come this way. So it's one, two. So this is like two in. Two foundations in. Yeah, that seems to work. Look at that. Oh, so smooth. Looks good. Alright, my information was correct on that one. Oh, it looks like we should just about have enough to get to the end. And then if I want to, I could obviously just get rid of the foundations, right? They're just literally a foundation for me to get building. Oh, damn. I went over the line. So one, two, right here. Damn it. Sorry. Let's just grab this again. So to here. Okay. Almost done. Just one more to go. Alright, did it. I did it, Mom. So, although I need to build a station on that side, obviously, if we want it to stop somewhere, rather than just go around in a circle. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll make a station on the other side and we'll have it pick up fluid or something. Alright, looks cool. So this needs to be hooked up with power. Um, just while we're here, let's just drag this out. Again, this is literally all temporary. I just want to know how it works. And then I might consider making a route somewhere else. I guess I'll just do it underneath. That's what I was looking for. It's way further up than I thought. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so on this side, we'll make a, a train station on this side, just right across. So I'll just cut this rail again. And then this needs to come out like... I think probably one or two either side. And this will we'll test out loading and unloading. Alright, nice. So, which way did I face that now? I can't remember. <laughs> I think that way, right? I think so. I hope so. So, train station, turn this on this way. Door direct central. Okay. So a freight platform and a fluid freight platform. So do these latch to each other? Oh no, I'm low on heavy modular frames. Damn, I'll have to go just grab some of those really quickly. And what do I need for the... I, I need a computer. Okay, we've got a little bit in, over here. I think it'll be enough just to get me through. Just take all of this. That should be enough. Ugh. It looks good. Oh, there's the planet again, my favorite one. Alright, cool. So, um,. Freight platform. This doesn't have a direction, does it? It doesn't seem to. Alright, we'll stick it this way. That's good then. Stick it this way. And then... Fluid freight platform? Okay. This needs to be powered as well. So that's online. That, so both of those are 50. Now, wait a second. Didn't it say... Yeah, I don't see the power on this. It said 50 in the menu, but maybe it just joins onto this? Don't know. Not sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll just have something temporary loading into both of these, and then we can test out how this train works. So it'd be nice to get some fluid. The only fluid I can think of getting here 
over here quickly is water. There's water in lakes just across the way over here, isn't there? I think so. Man, that sky is looking damn good now. Holy crap. The piano. Are you kidding me? <laughs> there we go. There's water over there. Is that a hard drive site? Have I accessed this one yet? Maybe not. It needs power. Okay. Well, I have to power on this um, extractor anyway, so we're going to be adding power over here either way. Cool, we have what we need. Of course, I knew that beforehand. Is that it? That's powered. Okay, cool. Well, it's not powered. It's hooked up. And then I'll just hook this up to power here onto the copper factory. Alright, cool. So that's power extended over to the water extractor. So the water extractor will turn on now. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I'm like playing the game in the worst way possible. I'm just staring up at the sky like, oh my god, the graphics. Anyways. It's all a learning process. So, let's get all this piping. I need copper sheeting for it, but we've got loads of it, so I wouldn't be too worried. Might have to add a pump to it. So, basically, I just want to feed something over. Like, water seems to be the obvious one to do. And that way we can just take a quick look at sort of how the uh, train picks up fluids because I just I just don't know and I think it's kind of fun to play around with it in the in the video. Water's getting it. The pipe's already flowing. Oh sweet! I guess yeah. I guess it's all downhill up to here. It might actually carry across with no pumps. Thinking about it. Um. So I need. Foundations. Uh, okay, let's just put one foundation somewhere here. It doesn't really matter where. Like destroying the landscape just to test this all out. Alright, so my hopes would be that that can make that little distance just fine. Just bring this up to here. And the fluid's on the left. <laughs> it's such a ridiculous pipe, but oh well. Alright, cool. So that's in. Um, it might need a pump up that last little bit, so I'm sure we have the power for it. If I have a pump available, let's just stick one on. One of our new pumps as well. It's a Mark II. It's hard to know. Where does it, like, will it tell me? It looks like it's going the whole way. I'm not seeing anything that says it wouldn't. Because it is being coming, for, coming from right over there. Let's just put this down here then, I guess, anyway. Just in case. That's a cool looking pump. Oh, I can see it's jostling. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so that's water. Uh, this place is hooked up. We just need to build the actual freight car and then maybe put a container here. Uh, so let's go. Just a regular storage container. We'll just load it up with something. Doesn't really matter what. Uh, concrete, why the hell not? All right, so concrete is heading into our railway station. We have to hook the line back up. All right, I think I have all the materials. So the next thing then is just building the actual thing, the electric locomotive. Oh my God, we have what we need. So I think I'm going this way, right? 
Oh, yes. Looks good. Yeah, it's powered on and everything already. So. Oh, man, I've never seen this before. Open train menu. Time. Oh, my God. Timetables. Edit the timetable. Well, these are the two. The two locations. The smallest route possible almost in the game. So let's just get going. I'll just drive it myself. Oh, yes. <laughs> awesome. Nice. I've done it. The railway works. Even these these turns are a little sharp. But it seems to be fine. What's our speed? 118 kilometers per, per hour at 28... Oh, I see. So when it's taking the turns, it consumes more power. Interesting. So you want to have a long straight... Obviously, yeah, that makes total sense. Cool. So I'll just put a brake on it here. Oh, man. The animations on this is so good. You can actually see, like, almost like air brakes at the front. So let's just get out right about here and see if I can add on the freight cars. Oop. So freight car. Can I put two on? All right, we are good. So let's see if we can make an automatic route. We are already loading up the other station, right? So let's go um, train menu. Train name train. <laughs> Edit timetable. So we want to go, we're starting at this station, which is right in front of us, and then we're going to Dordrecht Central. And then one load unload has been completed. Freight wagon is fully loaded. Or just wait. And wait. Or wait. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and you can tell it what to, oh man, yes. That's so good. Okay, cool. Oh, actually though. Can you set per cart what loads or no? Doesn't seem like it. It's like the train will load or unload something. So you can have multiple different trains on the same line, but you can't necessarily specify which cart gets what. Okay, well, that's all right. It would be nice if you could, I guess, but maybe it just maybe you don't need to really do that. So let's just I don't do I need to I didn't change anything, so just leave it. Okay, so save changes. So it's going from the next station is Skuvd C. Turn on self driving. Oh my god, that's so cool. Alright, let's hop out. Yeah, so we've got nothing in this. This is no even container. Maybe the container gets added once it knows what it's taking, I guess. Let's see. So I'll just hop over to the other station. Oh yeah, and there's like platforms and stuff. Cool. So is this full now? That's yeah, 218. This is filling with water 363. Here we go, train's coming in. Oh my god, trains are so cool. Yes! Ah, oh, it takes out what it needs. I see. Oh, the sounds, man. So good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> there it goes. Nice. That's pretty straightforward. I thought I was going to struggle with it a lot. So it's just going to stop there. It'll come back. So what's going to happen now? Is it going to load another one on top of it? Or will the tube like pump the rest in? Well, I guess we'll see. I'm kind of curious now to see what happens here. So this is the water. And that's the regular freight. The speed, man. That's going to be so good. Yeah, I think delivering... Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> I think delivering compact coal up to that oil refinery will just build a big train line that leads, like, leads all the way up there. That'd be quite cool. So yeah, I'm curious to see what happens here now. Because it can't dump another one unless it takes it off first. Is it? I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. 
Oh, it's picking up the whole thing? Oh, it's like a transfer. I see. Oh, that makes sense. That's cool. Seems like a lot of excess weight. I mean, you could just like pull a, a pipe over or something or a pump over like a uh, hose. I love that it beeps before it leaves. All right, cool. Well, I really just wanted to see how all that worked and we've done that now. So really quickly, maybe we could have, we've got a little bit of time left in the episode. Maybe I'll go exploring. We'll drive out to the east or something, see what's going on. Because I haven't really been out there. So nice. So I'll probably delete or destroy most of this and then we'll rebuild these stations I think it'd be a good idea, yeah. So, compacted coal we make out here. I need to then bring it all along, all along out here, all the way up to the oil refinery. And that's where we can make our turbo fuel and mix it with the other crude oil deposits. I think that's what I'll do. Seems to make sense to me. Yeah, that's gonna be great, having an actual proper long journey. It could take a really long time to build that, the platforms all the way out there though. Uh, so, let's get in the Explorer. Let's go for a little drive. Where did I leave it? I keep losing that car for some reason. It's below the train. Okay. Yeah, and I'll just drive out east, and then we'll see what's going on. Oh man, I'm, my mind's going crazy just thinking of like the possibilities. You could just pick up so much ore and deliver it all to one big place. That's like a massive mega foundry. Kind of like to do that. Uh, you know what? Let's go the other way. I've never been that way before. And if we can find any hard drives or something on the way, then all the better. Um, in between episodes, I'll probably make sure that the crystal oscillators get done, and then we can start having a look at radar technology in the next episode. Because I doubt we made um, 150 in that time, but maybe we did. Oh my god, check out this basin. Alright, so it's going to drive up and around this way. I have a gas mask, actually. So now we can go places that I haven't been before. Um, but I'm, I must not be wearing it properly or something. Yeah, I've got a gas mask on. I guess driving through it doesn't count. Don't have my rebar gun with me. Hey! <laughs> oh man, picturesque. Alright, let's keep going. I don't see any hard drives. Obviously as well slugs if we can find them. That'd be good. Alright, we're going into uncharted territory now. I'm sure this is fine. Isn't there like spiders or something in these forests? <laughs> Not even seeing any deposits or anything. A lot of room for machines, maybe. Oh, there's a hard drive site right in front of me. Oh. Do I have, um, I do. I'm something of a pro gamer myself. <laughs> Alright, cool. Modular frames, I'll take them. Hey, motors as well. 30 megawatts of power, you bastard. I don't think I have what I need to make one. Let's just see in a second.
All right, nailed it. Uh, let's just see. So, biomass burner. Oh, I do have what I need. This makes 30, does it? Um, okay. Well, do we have any veg? I've got something on me, do I? Uh, nope, apparently not. Oh, I've got biofuel. Sweet. Well, there we go. Another hard drive. So we'll check this out in the next one. Um, what the recipe will be. Good, good to know that I have that on me as well. So if we come across other ones, we can just set it up really quickly. I guess maybe this is what the, the blinking lights are on the planet. Maybe it's just drop pods. Downed drop pods. Alright, let's just go a little bit further and then we'll wrap it up. This is a really weird episode, I know. But next one I'll have a bit more of a plan. This is a good way just to um, feel out some of the things that I've unlocked. We've now maxed out tier 6. So it's all going to be about checking out um, what we can build with it and stuff. And how we can get to the next uh, space elevator milestone. So there's going to be a lot of building to do. We have to get a circuit board factory, computer factory, heavy modular frame factory. Oh wow, check it out. I don't think I've ever seen this place before. I'm not- the weird thing though that I'm just a bit perplexed by is I'm not seeing like any harvestable materials. I'm sure there must be something. <laughs> I'm just like not seeing it. There's a big basin of water over there. All right, let me just run out to those deposits and that's gonna be the, oh, another hard drive, sweet. I have um, a mask as well this time. So let's see if we can just unlock it. All right, gas mask on. It's like a total, I mean, it's, it literally is an alien world. Oh, it's just cool. Six industrial beams, heavy industrial beams. Another hard drive, nailed it. All right, good, let's just keep running. Oh man, it'd be a super annoying thing to have to build like while wearing this gas mask and have this filter on. What do we have here? Coal. Hello. Four normal deposits of coal. And then water right here, obviously a big thick basin. So it's gonna run across to the oil. Yeah, the power slug. Should we grab it? Damn, sorry. I was so cool and then I ruined it all by accidentally scrolling the wheel and taking out buildables rather than taking out what I wanted, which was the sword. Getting a little low on fuel now as well for the jetpack. Gotta watch, always keep an eye on that. <laughs> In case I just jump over a waterfall like this without thinking. Hey, this isn't unlocking for some reason. Here we go, there we are, the deposits. Pure crude oil. Oh, there's a knockback. Sorry, friends. I mean, I wouldn't have fought them if they didn't attack me. All right, last thing I'll just do, just another little ping. Have a look around. Yeah, for some reason this isn't showing. So what do we have? Normal, impure, pure, and pure. Wow. Yeah, maybe crude oil out here. Why the hell not? Like I said, it's kind of equally far from the sulfur though. So the last one then would be this. Just to quick ch quickly check, is there anything else out this way? And that way we could just make turbo fuel over here. 
Uh, not that I see. I don't know where that was. Now it's way far north. Sulfur seems fairly rare. Alright guys, that's gonna have to be it. A bit of a weird episode, but just like an, a kind of an intermediate one in between the bigger builds. Um, but we're now tier 6 out of our minds, we have everything unlocked, awesome synced out of my mind, you know? It's really just about figuring out what to build and where, how to best get my goods moving around now. Um, you could obviously have super long truck routes, they operate just fine. We have fuel set up for them to be refueled. But I think what I'll do, as interesting as this area is, I'll probably have a look around see if I can uncover the map a, a bit more. But then I'll just go back to the sulfur refinery, maybe start building a train station. And then we'll have the crystal oscillators for radar technology in the in the background as well while that train station is being built. We'll make a train line that goes all along here. If you can see my mouse, follow it all the way along up. Up and up and up and up. All the way up to here. Um, and just make a temporary stop. Now, it's just going to be a one-lane thing. I don't want to get too crazy with my train lines. Maybe I will eventually. But I don't think we need to do anything crazy with junctions and stuff just yet. I saw someone on Reddit posting a train station that's like, or a train line that's like all hexagonal. And it's unbelievably impressive, really well done, but like, just, it's just too much. <laughs> um, plus, I wouldn't want to just copy what I've seen anyway. I want to do something a bit more original. Oh my god. Check it out. It's Slug Central. Slugs everywhere. All right. Uh, yeah, actually, getting the object scanner and having a look around here would be a good idea too, I guess. Uh, and then with the radar technology, you get the object scanner that can tell you where hard drives are too, so that could be handy. Alright, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, actually, never do this, but if you have feedback or things you'd like to see me do now in the next ones before we get to the next space elevator, like specific ideas for factories, I'm totally all ears, so please leave them in the comments below. Or you can join my Discord if you're a channel member or a Twitch subscriber. Um, you can join my Discord and let me know in there. Alright, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing. And it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.